Chapter 14 The Race of Flowers W. B. Rands The trees and the flowers seem running a race, but none treads down the other, and neither thinks it his disgrace to be later than his brother. Tread down, press something, as with the feet. Disgrace, loss of respect, sense of shame. Yet the pear tree shouts to the lilac tree, Make haste, for the spring is late. And the lilac whispers to the chestnut tree, Because he's so great. Pray you, great sir, be quick, be quick, For down below we are blossoming thick. Spring, the season of the year after winter, When plants start to grow and flowers appear. Pray you, a phrase indicating a polite request. Blossoming, producing flowers. Then the chestnut hears and comes out to bloom, white or pink, to the tip-top boughs. Oh, why not grow higher? There's plenty of room. You beautiful tree with the sky for your house. Bloom, of trees and plants have flowers. Tip-top, at the topmost point. Bow, a large branch of a tree. Then like music, they seem to burst out together, the little and the big, with a beautiful burst. They sweeten the wind, they paint the weather, and no one remembers which was first. Burst out, to start or do something suddenly. Question 1. Read the following extract and answer the questions given below it. The trees and the flowers seem running a race. Dash, for down below we are blossoming thick. 1. Answer the following. Simple factual questions. 1. What race are the participants running? Answer. The participants are running a race to catch up with the late arrived spring and to blossom as fast as they can. 2. Which trees are mentioned in this extract? Answer. The pear tree, the lilac tree and the chestnut tree. 2. Answer the following. Complex factual questions. 1. Why does the pear tree shout to the lilac tree? What does it shout? Answer. The pear tree shouts to the lilac tree because it sees the lilac tree blossoming very slowly. It shouts at the lilac tree to make haste because the spring is late. 2. Why does the lilac tree whisper to the chestnut tree? What does it whisper? Answer. The lilac tree whispers to the chestnut tree because it is so great and is still blossoming very slowly. It shouts at the chestnut tree to be quick for down below the lilacs are blossoming thick. 3. Answer the following. Interpretative type question. Explain. The spring is late. Answer. There could be slight variations in the settling in of the seasons. The spring depicted in the poem seemed to arrive but late. As plants and trees are highly sensitive to the seasons, a slight variation in the timing might upset them. 2. Why do you think does the lilac tree address the chestnut tree as sir? Answer. Because it is so great. 4. Answer the following. Vocabulary questions. 1. Find the meanings of the words from a good dictionary. 1. To trade down. 2. Disgrace. Answer. To trade down means to press something as with the feet. 2. Disgrace means shame, loss of respect. 2. Write from the extract homophones for into bracket words that pronounced the same as but have different spellings and meanings. 1. P A I R pair. Answer. 1. P E A R pair. 2. P R E Y pray. Answer. 2. P R A Y pray. 
5. Answer the following. Poetic device questions. 1. Write the rhymes from the extract. Answer. Res, disgrace. Other, brother. Late, great. Quick, thick. 2. Write the rhyme scheme for the first and the second stanza. What difference do you notice in the rhyme scheme? Answer. The rhyme scheme for the first stanza is A dash B dash A dash B. The rhyme scheme for the second stanza is A dash B dash A dash B dash C dash C. Two more lines having a rhyming pair have been added to the second stanza. 3. Name and explain the figures of speech. Pray you, great sir, be quick, be quick. Answer, repetition, words are repeated for effect. Question 2. Read the following extract and answer the questions given below it. Then the chestnut hears and comes out into bloom, dash and no one remembers which was first. 1. Answer the following. Simple factual questions. 1. Which tree is mentioned in this extract? Answer. The chestnut tree. 2. What are the colors of the chestnut tree's blossoms? Answer. White or pink. 3. In what way is this race unique? Answer. At the end of the race, no one cared to remember who came, that is, bloomed first. 2. Answer the following. Complex factual question. How does the chestnut tree come into bloom? Answer. The chestnut tree comes into bloom with white or pink blossoms on its topmost branches. 3. Answer the following. Interpretative type question. 1. Explain. 1. The sky for your house. 2. With a beautiful burst. 3. They sweeten the wind. 4. They paint the weather. Answer. 1. Chestnut tree, unlike shrubs and bushes, grows tall into the sky. So, the lilac, a bush with vertical limitations, reminds of the chestnut its unlimited scope. 2. The sudden blooming of the plants and trees in unison is compared to the abrupt opening of a piece of a music in full harmony. 3. The fragrance of the newly blossomed flowers is carried by the wind around. So the blossoms are credited with sweetening the wind. 4. From the dreary winter, nature changes into a riot of colours in spring. The blossoms are thus attributed the quality of painting the weather colourful. 2. Which lines indicate that the chestnut tree grows very high? Answer. 1. Oh, why not grow higher? There's plenty of room. 2. You beautiful tree with the sky for your house. 3. In what way are the trees like players of music? Answer. As the various players of instruments bring out a well-orchestrated piece of music, the bushes, shrubs and trees together produce with the blossoms a well-balanced visual treat. 4. How does this poem illustrate a stress-free development of personalities? Answer. Flowers do not compete with each other to outsmart the other. Rather, they encourage each other to blossom. People too can do so to create a stress-free environment with no one either hindering the development of others or obstructing their growth. 4. Answer the following. Vocabulary questions. 1. Find the meanings of the words from a good dictionary. 1. Bloom. 2. Bows. Answer. 1. Bloom means opens out to produce flowers. 2. Bows means large branches of a tree. 2. Write from the extract homophones for 1. Higher. 2. There. Answer. 1. H-I-G-H-E-R. Higher. Answer. 2. T. 
T-H-E-R-E, there. 3. Answer the following poetic device questions. 1. Write the rhymes from the extract. Answer. Bloom, room. Bows, house. Together, weather. Burst, first. 2. Write the rhyme scheme of both the stanzas. Answer. A dash B dash A dash B. 3. Name and explain the figures of speech. Dash with a beautiful burst. Answer. Alliteration. The sound of B is pleasingly repeated.